In today's video, we're diving into a topic that seems simple on the surface, but actually has some significant differences when you dig deeper. Paint versus coatings. Whether you're a homeowner, a contractor, or someone simply curious about industrial finishes, understanding the difference between these two can save you time, money, and a whole lot of confusion. Let's explore it right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with paint. Most of us are familiar with it. We've seen it in homes, on furniture, in schools, just about everywhere. Paint is primarily designed for aesthetic purposes. It's about making something look good, changing the color of a wall, adding personality to a room, or giving a new life to an old piece of furniture. Technically, paint is made up of pigments, binders, solvents, and additives. The pigment gives the color, the binder helps it stick to the surface, the solvent makes it easy to apply, and additives improve certain properties like drying time or mildew resistance. When we talk about paint, especially in residential or commercial settings, we're usually referring to decorative coatings with minimal functional benefits. They're not really meant to stand up to heavy chemical exposure, extreme temperatures, or harsh weather over time. Sure, some paints have a little durability built in, like mildew resistance for bathrooms or UV protection for exteriors, but these are enhancements, not the primary function. Now let's shift gears and talk about coatings. This is where things get more technical. Coatings can look like paint, and often they are applied the same way, but their purpose goes way beyond looks. Coatings are functional layers applied to surfaces to protect, insulate, or provide other specific properties. These are common in industrial, marine, automotive, and high-performance environments. For example, think about a steel bridge. You might see a color on it, but what's actually protecting that steel from rust and corrosion isn't regular paint. It's a protective coating. These coatings can be made from epoxies, polyurethanes, polyaspartics, or other complex chemical compositions. Their main job is performance, resisting moisture, chemicals, abrasion, UV radiation, and even fire in some cases. So what's the core difference between paint and coatings? It comes down to intent and performance. Paint is decorative first and protective second. Coatings are protective first, and any aesthetics they offer are secondary. Paint might last a few years before it starts to fade or peel, while coatings are designed to last much longer, often up to a decade or more, depending on the type and environment. Another key difference is in how they're formulated. Coatings are engineered with specific physical and chemical properties in mind. They're tested for hardness, adhesion, chemical resistance, and more. Some coatings even include antimicrobial properties, thermal insulation, or anti-graffiti elements. Paints, by contrast, are usually tested for color retention, gloss, and ease of application. You'll also notice a price difference. Paints are generally cheaper and easier to apply. Coatings, due to their complexity and durability, costs more up front and may require professional installation. But that investment pays off in longevity and performance, especially in challenging environments. Now, let's look at some real-world examples to put this into perspective. If you're painting the walls inside your home, you're going to use interior paint. It's cost-effective, available in thousands of colors, and doesn't need to resist more than the occasional bump or scratch. But if you're coating the floor of a commercial warehouse, you're not using paint. You're going to need an industrial-grade epoxy or polyurethane coating that can withstand forklift traffic, chemical spills, and constant wear. Another example, if you're painting outdoor furniture, a good exterior paint with UV resistance might be fine. But if you're dealing with metal structures near the ocean, where saltwater corrosion is a constant threat, 
you'll need a high-performance coating system with primers, intermediates, and top coats designed for that kind of exposure. Let's not forget the environmental side of things. Paints have come a long way in terms of low VOC, or volatile organic compounds and eco-friendliness, especially for indoor use. Many consumer paints today are designed to be safer for the home and for the planet. Coatings, on the other hand, especially the industrial ones, can be more hazardous to apply and often require proper ventilation, protective gear, and sometimes even certifications to handle. That's why coatings are often left to trained professionals. However, there's a growing shift in the coatings industry toward more environmentally responsible formulas. Waterborne epoxies, low VOC polyurethanes, and other greener technologies are becoming more common, especially as regulations tighten around emissions and worker safety. So how do you decide between paint and coating? It all comes down to your needs. If you're looking for a fresh look for your bedroom or a pop of color in your kitchen, a quality paint is all you need. But if you're looking to protect surfaces in high wear environments, deal with corrosion or add functional performance, then coatings are the way to go. Don't let the similar appearance fool you. Paint and coatings may look alike in a can, but they serve very different purposes. Choosing the wrong one can lead to peeling, damage, costly repairs, or even safety issues. So be sure to consider where the product will be used, what kind of stress it'll be under, and how long you want it to last. While paint and coatings may appear similar at first glance, their purposes are quite different. Paint is primarily used for decorative finishes, adding color and aesthetic appeal to surfaces with some light protection. Coatings, on the other hand, are formulated for durability and performance, often used in demanding environments to resist chemicals, abrasion, weather, and more. Whether you're working on a DIY home project or specifying materials for industrial use, knowing when to use paint and when to opt for coatings makes all the difference. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.